keeping it appropriate. I never knew that there were so many forms of wind. Or that there was a race between first and second violins. But this poem begins with me sitting amongst an orchestra for the first time ever in person. Amongst prevailing undercover sounds. Where I don't just hear, but I also feel the full immersion. Ringing in my ears differently to... I'm picking up a totally different tone to this ringing symphony. Clear signals from the MD who conducts vibrational frequencies that doesn't simply arrest people, but arrests curiosity. And in that, a key change can mean a key change for someone who's perhaps on a downward trajectory. A project that invites a rhythm rise at first might cause surprise and some puzzled faces, but could be that piece that falls into place when they hear the trumpets and the double basses playing with conviction, playing in bars, not thrown behind them. The sound of music for lots of young people is much more disarming than a woo woo siren. Literally, I'm sure many haven't heard about this side of the police, and like Joshi, Alison's son, Music can be the key to unlock potential to enable inner peace where the real work begins. And if we can channel the release of young people's feelings, then everybody wins. Whether through horns, percussion, trombones or the tuba, the harmonium might warrant greater hope for the future. The hope to have the opportunity for a fresh start through sounds as grand as a piano, viola or cello, feeling the beat deep within the harp like this orchestra. We all have a part to play to help them stand up tall. And like a gong or tam-tam, Alison and I know that you're all gonna smash it at the Royal Albert Hall.